Hey and welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. That's me. In today's video we're going to talk about another Victor and Venus OS and Raspberry Pi component. I want to know how hot it is my Raspberry Pi's processor. I do want to understand wherever it's located. In my case it's in, located in a box. How hot is it? Is it becoming too hot maybe? Is it sufficient cooling on there? Is it not sufficient cooling? And maybe there's an option to at the end also connect other um, temperature sensors or wires or whatever you need. And that's what I want to do today and we'll jump right into it and here you can see already the final solution. And how we get there? I'll show you step by step because I found a great, um, a great thread online where they talk about it and where to provide a solution for what I was looking for and I'll show you what I did, what I had to do step by step. Obviously final product. So I'm connected here to my Venus OS on my Raspberry Pi and you can see um, right now it's just called Pi, that's what I called it, and I do have a temperature gauge, in my case it's Celsius, but when I go to the dashboard, the VRM portal, here you can also see the temperature. It's set up to Fahrenheit over here, so you can see there's some calculations somehow in the background. I didn't care about that at the moment, it's just fine-tuning, and you can change it on your own. But what I want to show you is that to have the temperature um, information up here as well, which is amazing and what I would love to see and I was wondering how is it possible to get this? And it is possible, but you have to configure it. And I will link um, this article, which uh, one of the users um, figured out, coded, um, he used the Python script or something, and there's a service running on the Venus OS, which we have to copy the files on, activate it, um, do some changes, and I will show you all those little steps. It's also pretty good described here in the instructions. This link is in the description as well. The first thing you need to do is um, click on the green code, download a zip file. And of course I have prepared something already, which means I have the zip file here. You need to extract it and then you have um, a folder and three files. What we need is basically the folder here. I'll show you later what we're doing with this. Additionally, what you need to do is downloading WinSCP and install it. I did install it already, so I opened it here already. What we need to do is a new, oh sorry, it's in, of course it's in German again, my apologies. It will say new session and that's what we need to do. And what you want to do is a new connection. We'll use SFTP. The address will be your IP address of your um, Raspberry Pi, very important. We'll use the root account and the password, which you set already, hopefully. If not, there's a, loop, link, uh, there's a link to enable SSH and also the root user of password and that's what you need to do first. If you have set it up, type in root as account, password, um, whatever you set, connect to it and then you want to go a couple folders up. He made it very nice here as well. Uh, there are some ex instructions here. Uh, actually those are four slash five steps. We just want to focus on Raspberry Pi processor temperature, so we only have four steps. But you can use and utilize these instructions to add another temperature sensor, which I will focus on in a different video in the future. What are we doing? The first step, we want to download the file. Check, we did that. We want to make it easy because I'm using Windows. We want to make it easy and just copy everything over. So that means uh, step two, just let me mark it here really quick. Step two. Just the files here. We want to navigate to um, opt Victor Energy Dbus I2C. So it means. So we want to navigate now um, to this folder opt on, opt Victor Energy and Dbus I2C, which we don't have yet because we didn't copy anything. So we go to opt Victor Energy and now Dbus there is no I available. So what we want to do is just pulling this entire folder, the extracted folder pulling it over and it's uploading everything. Amazing. So we have everything in here. That's already a big huge step. We can get rid of this one. What we need now is a putty or how I call, how I call it, putty. And we want to connect to it as well. So let me get it here. I have prepared already the connection here, which basically you type in up there, right? Same IP address for your Raspberry Pi, connect to it. Then we have the window here. I'll log in with the root account password as well, which we set. 
logged in. Perfect. Step two, we just did, we copied everything. We don't have to worry about the steps, what they, what he described here, because we're using Windows. We dragged and dropped. Thanks Windows, thanks clicking. Step three, um, this one as well. Now we execute this one. Then here explains basically what's happening here. Those commands. So we'll create, let's see if we can just do the, we will create a folder, which, let me get us up here. We'll create a folder within, where is it? And we'll create a folder in here. So we'll send it out. There is the folder, perfect. Now we want to copy some of the commands. By the way, I copy with putty, I usually just mark it. And then I use my keyboard control C, sorry. Or you do click, right click and copy. It's in German again, apologies. You'll understand it hopefully. And when you want to paste it into putty, putty, you just use one right click and whatever is in, in, uh, in your cache memory, whatever it's called, um, it just pastes it in here. And then we want to hit enter. So let's see, there's nothing in it. Refresh and now we have something in it. Perfect. All right, so that was step three. And I'll change the files to executable files so that they can be executed and used as a server so they can be basically display the temperature. And that's what's very important. We'll try to make it easy. We will use this command. We'll do ls first. Then copy or paste paste in the change mode. And we double click on the first file name, then right click. And there we have a first one. And we'll do the same with the next file. We'll do the same with the next file. Perfect, now changing to the next folder. Sorry, I just somehow moved to the wrong folder. Let me get back. I wanna change to this folder. Yep, I wanna change to this folder, do the change mode or the run file as well. All right, I wanna check. Reboot. There it is. Perfect. So now it shows up as battery temperature sensor 29. Now we can go in here. We can go on device. We can see a couple of things. Let me go down. We can see that VRM instance is 29. Now we see the 29. And now we can change it to pi uh, processor temp. Pretty much like this. Hit enter, go back, and here we have the temperature in the console. And then we can go in here, and there we have already battery showing up as well. It tells us that it's 112 degree Fahrenheit, and here it's in Celsius. And as I mentioned, there is in this description there is a step five, and you could possibly use it for update. What is it? update wire one, which would be a temperature sensor with one wire. Um, you could connect that to the Raspberry Pi. Um, no need right now, but I want to do another video about this part um, as soon as I get there, because then we'll do the step five. It's working for me right now. If you have any issues, try it another time. Chain, try to change uh, the executable file and make sure you follow all the steps. Um, can you destroy anything? I don't think so now, because it's those, of those files you copy on and you can just delete them. Um, and then it will, after reboot, not work anymore or during that time even without reboot. 
but uh, do some reboots, sh check if it's there, and that's all. Side note, as much as I understood from the instructions, every time you do a firmware upgrade, it will happen that you have to reconfigure this. What reconfigure means do all the steps we just did again. I hope this was helpful, and if you liked what you saw and uh, it helped you, please subscribe uh, and like the video um, to help the channel a little bit. And thanks for watching. Tschüss!